um, how I was just fighting. You know, she's a, such a tough player. And of course, I'd like to first apologize to the, all of the Australian fans. I'm sure, I know they wanted her to win, and it's not easy for them that I, you know, beat world number one. But uh, yeah, I'm just so grateful and so happy. And, you know, she played such a great match. She's a really great player. Yeah. Thank you. You've had such an air of confidence here in Australia this tournament. But today on court, you look like you were shocked, like your reactions back to your box. How would you describe your reactions or your emotions making it to the first semifinal? Is it shock? Is it expected? A dream? It's semifinal, you're asking. So, yeah, so or final. final. Yeah, yeah. Um, of course. Um, I mean, it's not like shocked, but I'm just, it's like a dream come true for me. You know, I've always dreamed about this. Um, of course, I believed in myself. I was playing and, you know, I, I knew it was in the semifinal. It was just great. And it was in, you know, I'm so happy I was able to share the court with Ash. And uh, yeah, after the match, of course, it's pretty emotional. I mean, it's the finals. It's something, it's something different. It's the real. So I'm just, yeah, I'm so grateful for it. So you've been a child prodigy. A lot has been written about you at a young age. Did you always believe you would get to a Grand Slam final at such a young age? Did you think it would come perhaps later? Um, or you felt destined, this would be your destiny? I mean, I always believed that I can. Um, of course, I, I, mean, I, don't, I didn't have a book. I, I didn't know exactly when. But um, I feel like at this young age, I think it's, uh, it's incredible. And it's, you know, not everyone gets to live this moment, live this dream. And I'm just really grateful for it. You know, I've worked so hard and I've put all the efforts into my practices and my fitness and all the efforts I've been doing. It got me here. And I mean, it's just paying off and it's like a dream come true for me. Can I ask you about the videos as well? About, oh yeah, the Andy video. I think everyone knows about it. Um, it's just I'm doing an interview saying I can return his serve and how I will return it. By the way, he tweeted something about me. He said congratulations and stuff. So thank you, Andy. What, uh, what do you think allowed you in each of the sets to be right on the brink, twice a point from losing the first set, twice a point from losing the second set, to hang in there at those moments and come through? Well, I believe I can win, even though I had two set points down in the first and second. You know, I, I can literally feel it. I was telling myself, you know, I, I believe in myself. If, you know, if I lose the set, you know, I'm still going to come out and I'm going to believe. And, um, yeah, I really did a great job with it. You know, I didn't give up. I knew it was a tough match. And, of course, some things didn't go my way with the challenges and, you know, some great shots that she came up with. But I didn't let that stop me. And, um, yeah, I was fighting. I battled out there. I left everything out all on the court. So it paid off. Particularly well in your in your game today, matching up with hers. Do you think? I think serve is number one. I feel like I was serving well. I knew I needed to serve well, um, but I feel like I had a clear mindset on, on how I want to play her. And um, you know, of course, she was serving really well. I was able to somehow, you know, find my rhythm on the return. And um, yeah, I got some free points and stuff. And I felt like I was just really trying to focus on cutting down any unforced arrows because I mean, I'm playing world number one and playing Ash, who's playing really some solid tennis, and I knew she's not going to give any free points, and I knew I, w I was going to be a battle out there, and obviously was by the score. Thank you. Up here, obviously, you have this incredible focus, this will to win. It sort of doesn't matter what the situation is, what round it is, what, what, what's happening. Where, where do you think that... that has come from and how um, did you develop that? I mean, I've always had that. I'm no matter who I'm playing, where I'm playing, I'm gonna fight for fight for it. And uh, it doesn't matter. Of course, I have a lot of respect for my opponents when I'm playing. But when I'm going on court, I'm, you know, I'm there to win. I'm there to do my job. You know, um, so I'm doing my best. And yeah, I'm. Yeah, I don't know what else I can say. <laughs> I guess this that. <laughs> close to your ceiling or do you think that there's a lot more for you to improve and to get even better than you already are now? Yeah, of course, I feel like there's more improvement I can do, but I feel like I've done a lot of things during preseason to help me improve, you know, my fitness level and just improving, you know, different aspects of my game. So I've obviously improved and it's paying off, but um, of course there's more improvement and um, I just want to get better and keep going. It's still going on, but can you just talk about each of your potential opponents? Well, I don't know what the score is. What's the score? Who won the first Mugur, set? Who won the first set? Who won the first set? Mugur. Okay. Um, I mean, I've played uh, Grabinian, um, 
in Beijing. I had a, it was a tough match, but um, um, she's playing some really good tennis right now. She's had some great wins, and uh, she's not an easy. She's really aggressive, and uh, Simone is just a grinder. She's going to fight for every point. She's going to grind, and lost to her last year here, so we'll see. But, um, yeah, I mean, I don't have a preference at this point. I'm just going to wait to see who wins and then just get ready for the final. Atmosphere like out there. Obviously, there's a lot of people here hoping she would win this tournament. What was it like playing in front of? 15, um, I mean, people, I loved playing in this atmosphere. Um, I love Australia. It has a special place in my heart. Um, of course, I know they were cheering for Ash, and uh, you know, it was it was some interesting cheers. You know, I liked it, but it wasn't for me. But um, I mean, I just try to you know lock it out and just focus on each point. But um, yeah, atmosphere is amazing. It's why I'm playing. I'm working hard to play at these this great stage, the great atmosphere. So I mean, I enjoyed every moment of it. So hopefully on Saturday it'll be a lot more for me. Do you feel nervous out there ever? Of course, but I'm trying to like somehow hide it and just, you know, not show it and just I feel like as I'm going and as I'm playing more matches and I feel like it's becoming less. Yeah. Over the past twelve, thirteen months from let's say the beginning of 2019 to now. You've accomplished a lot. You've taken a lot of steps forward in terms of um, titles, progress at Grand Slam tournaments, rankings, all of that. If you could point to one factor that you think was the biggest reason for the step up you've made, what, what would you say it is? Uh, I would say after my match against Serena, getting to the fourth round in French, Oh my God, no, third round in French. Oh my God. So I lost to Ash there, but um, Serena third round. I feel like after that, things just took off. You know, I also played an atmosphere which um, they were cheering for Serena. But um, yeah, I feel like, I mean, she's my idol and winning that match really was a, a lot of emotions. And after that, I felt like it took off and um, yeah, things just started falling into place for me. Uh, you have been dreaming of this time for since you were five years old. Yeah. So, but, but yeah. Back in that time, did you have any specific situations? I mean, uh, any tournaments or, uh, you know, since, uh, you know, since that time, uh, what kind of the uh, process of your dream? Um, I mean, it was, I always believed I can do it, but obviously as I started getting more serious, you know, come, transitioning from juniors to the pros, you know, of course I, I would love to have been in the final of a Grand Slam. I've always dreamed about it. I've, this is where you, you know, the, being in the final here is obviously the place where it's the best to be. Um, um, yeah, I just feel like I've always believed in myself and I've worked hard and I've pictured so many times, you know, like being in the final, you know, the, all the emotions, how it's going to lead up until the final. So, um, I mean, I feel like I'm doing good keeping my emotions, but yeah, obviously it's a bit emotional and stuff, you know, so I've just, I feel like everything is just paying off and I see all the hard work that I've been putting is really showing now. Follow up on this, the way you're feeling now, this whole situation. Is it, is this the way you envision this to happen? No, I feel like it's more now for some reason. <laughs> like, um, it's just more excitement. It's just more, more emotions than just picturing it. You know, I've always like visioned about this. You know, so, um, yeah, I'm just playing some really great tennis. Uh, Jesse Pagula tweeted. She said that she was excited to see you getting the respect you deserve now. Oh, thank you, Jess. <laughs> I'm, I'm curious so if, if you also feel like that. If, that you feel like you were overlooked before, that you know people maybe weren't paying as much attention to you as they should have with, with your results, and now obviously everyone, there's no denying what you did today. So I'm curious how you feel about that. Um, I mean, yeah, I know that people haven't really paid attention much to me in the past, but I had to establish myself, and I have, and of course now I'm getting the attention, which is, you know, I like it, not gonna lie. But um, yeah, I mean, I my phone just blowing up this past two weeks. I haven't been able to check normal, you know, my Instagram, Twitter, everything, you know, it's just, it's blowing up, but um, I love this attention, and um, yeah, I'm enjoying every single moment of it. And you talked about uh, this place has a, a place in your heart, and why is that? And is there an Australian Open memory you have from watching it when you were younger? 
I mean, I've watched all the Grand Slams when I was younger, but I mean, Australia, Melbourne, I, I love the city. It's uh, the crowd, the people are just so friendly and um, I enjoy my time here. And yeah, of course, it's even more special since I'm in the finals. It's, but um, yeah, I mean, I just love it here. The atmosphere, it just makes you love playing in this, in this type of atmosphere. The fans get so into it, they're cheering, and it's just really exciting. Of all the ones you've watched, was there one you remember, like a Serena or a Kim or? Of course, US Open. Yes. Australia Open final. Oh my God, Australia! I've, uh, yeah, I saw Kim against uh, Lina. I was, I was so happy that she won. I was watching it. Uh, yeah, I mean, she's someone who I've also looked up to. You're such a great problem solver on court. Thank you. <laughs> you thought about what it might be like uh, if you really become a major, cutting-edge celebrity in our country, and how how you would handle that? Um, I mean, that would be amazing. I would love to, and I'm still gonna. Prepare myself. Of course, this is uh, a lot of emotions right now, and it's fine today. But uh, tomorrow, I'm gonna start getting ready for the finals. I'm not done yet, and I'm gonna go and do everything I can to get that trophy. So you are gonna be playing against a Grand Slam champion. Yes. With either way, whoever wins. So how are you gonna? You said you're gonna prepare yourself, but how? When you walk down that, when you walk down that hallway, what are you gonna be thinking about? Uh, well, first, I'm just going to be enjoying the moment. You know, this no one, you don't experience it so often. But, um, of course, I'm going to enjoy it. This is uh, so exciting. I have literally butterflies. But, um, yeah, I'm just going to also focus on what I need to do, focus on my game I got here. And it's, you know, it's time to shine and uh, do the best I can. And, like I said, hopefully do some something more special. If it is Muguruza, I guess, how much... Is it going to be about you? She's obviously a very aggressive player. How much do you think you would need to play more counter punching, or how much do you want to take first punches <coughs> to her? Of course, I want to do the first punches. I don't want to be in defense against her. She can really um, put the ball away, and she's uh, she's really aggressive. So I feel like it's going to be, you know, who's controlling the points more and who's dictating. And uh, of course, defense is obviously going to help. But hopefully, I can use what I did in Beijing to help me if I play her for a Saturday's final. Left field question, but when you throw the ball up, you don't look at it, do you, after the toss? I mean, as someone who perhaps hasn't seen so much in America, what's the what's the story behind? I mean, that? I don't know. I just I've served like that. I've also changed it a little bit. You know, it's not so far, but uh, you know that's worked for me all my life. It got me here, so why change it up now? You're doing it since you started playing tennis, really. I guess, yeah. I mean, yeah. Carolyn um, Wozniacki uh, just retired and. Her dad was her coach for most all mm -hmm. of her career. <coughs> Obviously, uh, your dad has been by your side from the beginning. Just talk about the dynamic of, of having your, your dad as, as your coach and, and the trust um, factor. Yeah, I think we make we just make it work. You know, we've worked. We came from a tough journey and stuff. We've you know had to go through some rough patches and everything. Um, but you know, we got here. We're so proud. I'm so happy that he's here. I get to share this moment with him. I've uh, you know dreamed about this. I'm sure he's dreamed about this, and uh, I'm sure he's proud of me. And yeah, we make it work. Uh, it's. I mean, it's. I mean, I don't know what else I can ask for. So uh, he's done the work. I've. Of course, done a little bit more, <laughs> but I'm moving and doing everything on court. But uh, yeah, he's been there with me. Um, so yeah, I'm just really grateful and I'm so happy I can share this with him and hopefully it can be something different to share. I heard Bruin told me that you want to live in Manhattan. Is that right? Ugo. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I don't quite told you, but yeah, that's true. We were talking about this the two days ago over dinner. Him, but okay, I, but yeah, I do. Why, why is that? I don't know. I just like it. It's uh, it's city life. Uh, you know, maybe because of Gossip Girl as well. <laughs> yeah, that show really. I don't know. But I love New York. I just love it there. I'm U.S. I feel like you know Central Park. You know all the Fifth Avenue, all those shops. I mean, I'm a fancy girl. I like those shops. So uh, living the life. So. Upper East Side is what I heard. Upper East Side, yes. <laughs> yes.